welcome to the Black Hills. I am now full-time in this Sienna Hybrid. I thought I would give you a tour of how I've got it packed and where all my stuff is. Uh, so let's check it out. So as I said, I'm full-time now. I still have to work another two and a half months before I retire, but I'm on a little trip here in South Dakota doing some hiking. So let's take a look at the outside of the van first. Okay, here's my current setup. Apologies for the dirt. It's been kind of rainy and a little bit snowy here the last couple days. So we'll start here in the back. I did have a hitch mounted platform, which I don't use anymore um, because I like to be able to park in smaller spaces without that hanging off the back. Plus it's easier to get into the back gate to access stuff. And also um, it's better for the backup camera, just nothing back there. Up on top, we've got the Yakima Skybox 16, which because some the amount of stuff that I'm taking, including the bike and some musical gear, I just had to have this on the roof. Um, if I didn't have the bike, I could maybe get away without it. So they make a 16, which is this one, and an 18. The reason I went with a 16 is because I wanted the use of my sunroof free and clear. The 18 would cover that. So that's Yakima Racks as well. And it's a really good unit. It opens on both sides. Um, and so you can open this sliding door and stand to get in it. Or sometimes I just put my foot right on this wheel and hop right up. And um, I'll show you that part a little bit later. So I'm at Sylvan Lake in the Black Hills. Gorgeous. So I have limo tint on all the back windows, which so far has been great. The front driver's side um, has got, I think, a 15%. Can't remember the amount of tent. So far, it's working good. This is an all-wheel drive vehicle, which is handy for traction, but this is by no means off-road ready. So my clearance, you know, it's not really meant for the off-road thing. So that is one thing that you give up when you go with a Sienna. All right, we'll take a look at the front section here. First thing I'll start off, I've had some questions on when you're overnighting about these lights. So you can dim this dash with a dimmer, but it doesn't really get that much dimmer. I frequently just don't even bother with it. However, I do turn off this screen when I'm overnighting. So you can go to menu, display, screen off, that helps. This area is always lit for the climate control, again, as well as the instruments, but I don't find it a big problem. All right, so we have this big console here. We've got charging ports the area underneath. Here's an inverter to be able to plug certain lightweight things in. It's not a very heavy duty inverter. Change. Um, here I've got water in a little basket. Toiletries in that bag. Sunblock. Here's a bag that has my jet boil stove for boiling water. I got my coffee stuff in there, oatmeal. It's kind of like a breakfast bag, if you will. Um, that doesn't have to sit on the seat. I could throw it in the back. Depends how clear I want the front end to look. Um, sometimes for overnighting, I take everything out of there. It just looks a little more stealthy. Got to have the little space, man. All right, let's check out the back. All right, we'll take a look in the back now. So here's where I typically get in and out. Putting my shoes, I've got a little uh, sweeper there. I typically push the seat all the way up as far as vertical when I'm in the back just for a little more room. So here's my bed. It's a Thermarest sleeping pad. Uh, pillows. Got a down blanket. Here's my gym bag, which sometimes goes in the front. Here's a backpack with some tech in it. Uh, iPad, obviously the charging cables. Let's climb on in. So here's the bike and some other stuff, and that's a big deal whether you put your bike outside or inside. I decided to go inside, 
I have to take the front tire off every time, which is kind of a pain, but it does keep it out of the elements and also just away from prying eyes. Makes it a little more stealthy not to have a bike hanging off the back all the time. So it's kind of a jumbled mess of stuff here. I've got this folding chair, which if I, you know, take up this bed, I've got this area to sit in the chair and do music. So we'll see how that goes. Haven't really done too much of that yet. Hiding behind the chair is a ukulele in a case. Here's my rechargeable vacuum stuffed in there. And we have my hiking poles, my trekking poles stuffed in there as well. I've got a dropper seat post, so I push it all the way down. That helps it fit there. I've got bungees to hold the bike in place. Here's a light for at night. It's just kind of hanging off there, which is decent. Um, again, my down blanket. Here's a tub with cooking gear and food in it. I will sometimes just take the whole tub right out of the back of the van to a picnic table to cook. On top is a bag with some clothes and some extra stuff in it. Here's the Yeti cooler bungeed in so it doesn't fall out. Underneath is a bag with more supplies, butane, food, canned food, stuff like that. And that kind of is the back end. Um, obviously I can just hop in here and sleep and a lot of times I just leave the bed up that way. This gym bag could go in the front. Um, leaving a little more area here. I've got this rubber mat where the bike goes on, which has been really great. And then a little carpet here. All right, so we'll take a look at the under storage next and then the rooftop box to finish up. All right, this area is a work in progress. I don't have everything figured out yet, but we've got some supplies under here, little trays that pull out. Um, that's a cubby that reaches way under there. So I could put stuff in there. Uh, the infamous pee bottle. Okay, we're at the other side. There's my waterproof hiking boots, which I'll be using shortly. A uh, little storage there. Got my table, some extra water, cleaning supplies, fuel cartridges, pee bottle number two. Here's a uh, sunshade. And then under there is also my uh, black blanket type thing for blocking off the front which sometimes they use but sometimes I don't even bother with depending on where I'm sleeping all right we'll look at up top next into the skybox okay and as I said I can open the slider and step here to go up I've got it unlocked now so let's pop it All right, up in front, there is my helmet, full face helmet, bike pump, other hiking shoes that are for warmer weather, and one, two, three duffels filled with clothes and other stuff. Here's another backpack, which I may or may not keep. There's a bag with biking maintenance gear and some other stuff in there that could be pared down at some point. And there is a folding toilet which um, I think will work folded up inside the van. I'll check that out. Um, not that I wanna poop inside, but you know, if you have to, you have to. And again, this skybox opens from both sides, which is handy. We'll get her shut. And you know, you have it shut when it snaps like that and the handle goes all the way up. You can pop the key out. Sometimes I climb up just by putting my foot here on the tire. It gives you better access to the back. You can go higher. Okay, a couple more things. I don't have my guitar in here yet, so I'm not sure where that'll go. Um, if I can maybe take some stuff out of the rooftop box and not bring it and throw the guitar up there, we will see. Also, if you remember my other build videos, there is underneath here a whole hatch that opens up with a door. Now I have to take all the stuff out of there to open that up, including the bike, which is not the best. But um, under there, 
is a bunch of more supplies and my tent and some other stuff. So it's possible once I start using some supplies, I can free up more room underneath here and put some of the stuff maybe that's on the rooftop box in there. We shall see. Also, I forgot to mention these hangers, which are useful for drying clothes. I've got smart wool um, base layers, which I will often wash in the shower at the gym and just hang dry right off the bike. You may be wondering what this is. It's just to protect this mount, um, which is a phone mount, when I flip it over on the ground to put the front wheel on, which is, again, a compromise you make to be able to store this bike inside. All right, that wraps it up. Hope that uh, helps you out there in YouTube land. I looked at many videos here when I was planning this out. So if you're thinking about the hybrid Sienna uh, to live out of and travel, I think it's a good choice for many reasons. So uh, that's how I have things set up. I'm sure I will pare things down a little more and try to create more negative space, open space, because that's important. Too much clutter can get you down. All right, so thanks for watching. Let me know your comments. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.